When it comes to resolution, more isn't always better. In this video, we'll cover how to pick the right resolution encoder for your project. I talked with a lot of people who are looking for help specifying the right encoder for their application. More often than not, those people think that picking the highest resolution available is the best option, but that's not always necessarily the case. Just like with many other things, you need to pick the right tool for the job. In general, higher resolution encoders are useful in applications where precise positioning is critical, when motion occurs at extremely slow speeds, or when very small distances need to be measured. Lower resolutions are typically better where approximate positioning is acceptable or in high speed applications where bandwidth limits could be an issue. There are a few more things you may want to consider. Higher resolution encoders may be more expensive. It takes time to read each cycle. Higher CPR will take more time. Sensitive systems may over respond to high CPR information, creating jitter. There is less time to read each cycle with high velocity applications. Higher resolutions may be larger than smaller resolution counterparts. That should give you a good starting point for knowing how to pick the right resolution encoder for your project. But if you have any additional questions or are still looking for help, don't hesitate to reach out. Hey, you might even end up talking directly with me. Thanks for watching US Digital Encoder Support. Please subscribe to our channel for product updates, tutorials, and FAQs. If you need help, reach out to us in the comments below or by visiting usdigital.com slash support. If you found us here, check out our main YouTube channel at youtube.com slash usdigital.